Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's Tongued Up. So this is my driveway coming in. So as you can see, once you pull up the driveway, you can see right through my backyard. And there was a chain link fence back there, but you still can see right through it. And so today we're gonna to talk about converting a chain link fence to a wooden fence so this way wife will be happy so we can have a little privacy fence separate the backyard from the front yard I think she's just tired of looking in the backyard and see all my crap back there so you can see uh, the fence post I got up here um, there was a changing fence, a five foot tall one, like the one on the side right there. Went ahead and have the kid help me disassemble the fence panel down. And the posts are only five foot tall. And the fence I'm planning to put up is six foot. So I need to extend these metal pipes here and the good things they are eight foot apart which is perfect and I do not want to dig them out just to install new post so I'm gonna use the existing one and I think this is like one and seven eight size right here and what I'm gonna do is uh, I must put this pipe over the existing one uh, these are the eight foot one you can get from the uh, big box store what I had to cut it to length here's a six foot section what I'm gonna do is uh, put over the existing one and turn them into six foot tall uh, I'm gonna do is uh, put a couple of uh, screws down here to secure them and the corner one is a larger size pipe those are two and three eighths so the um, leftover pieces I got over here I cut them into a smaller section and put it on top of there and weld them together to get six foot tall I use these magnet to Help me line them up when I stack them. And uh, so the uh, the end posts, I think they are three inches uh, in diameter. I think the gauge, of course. And I was got some extra extra three inches pipe cut into a uh, foot section. So what I'm going to do is uh, just line up straight using the uh, magnets. And just tack weld them. And once it's finished welding, come back and grind them down. And I'm going to put cedar boards up 
and I have purchased a bunch of boards already and I got some brackets this is a brackets I'm gonna use um, I purchased them in a package of 50 they're a lot cheaper that way it costs about 100 bucks so two bucks a piece with all the hardware that's about all galvanized um, screws and bolts and everything to put everything back together you can buy these like loose ones if you get it from the store you're gonna cost you like five bucks for it you can order online and probably cost you around three and you can also get like different style ones this is a different one you can get uh, basically you bolt it onto the pipe and the 2x4 sits on here and you just secure it and this is one that I'm planning to use the reason I, I select this one right here this one here you can bend a 9 degree angle if you need to or a different angle just by bending this, this two tabs right here so you can uh, do corner pose without buying um, a special bracket for it. this is uh, take this will take care of everything oh here's a little picture right here show you can do different angles um, they sell the corner ones it costs like 10 bucks for it for one so I have three rails that's like three brackets for each post it can be expensive especially now this is 100 bucks it's not bad uh, they come with all the hardware so if you had to buy if you buy these ones right here, you gotta buy all the uh, like screws and everything to screw them down. They can be expensive. So I picked the um, the redwood uh, fence picket and also the uh, two by fours. Uh, do the research online; they're the best deal. And let's go back to the uh, the fence post. So the only concern I have right here, the end ones are three inches wide, a thicker gauge of course, and uh, I got let's see eight foot at gate right here, and one on each side. What I want to do is uh, install three rails onto this uh, on this gate frame. And so I can screw the uh, the picket fence panel on it. So my concern is, can this post handle the weight? What is sag? Is this big enough? Uh, what can I do to help the gate from sagging? I do have some. Uh, I think we do a four or five inch uh, uh, post, but right now it's summertime and I got clay and rock dirt and they're super hard to dig and not to, not to mention I need to remove the old post as well. So I'm going to use the existing fence post I have right now to install the uh, new fence bore up so I want to get some feedback from you guys can I use three inch um, metal post I got over here to hold up the gates let me show you how thick the uh, inside of the, uh, the pipe is I want to say 316 or it was a quarter inch thick in there. Just a rough guess. So let me know, uh, comment on the video below. Uh, let me know if I can uh, use these existing three inch posts to hold my gates. Once you got the uh, piece you want to attach to the existing post, Go ahead and uh, use a straight edge. I just got a piece of uh, loose pipe here. I'm gonna lean against it and check for the gap. Get it nice and tight. It's nice and 
nice and tight here. Now I know everything is lined up correctly. I can go ahead and start uh, welding it. So this will look like when it's finished welding. I'll come back and grind it down. And be careful during dry season. I got a little fire going down here, but it's not going nowhere. So here's what it look like when uh, it's grind down. Nice and smooth. And um, just come back with some silver paint and spray over it. All right, so that one's done, this one's done, along with this one's done. So that's how you get from a five foot to a six foot post. And either by, um, if you have a smaller post, you can slip a larger one over it. Those ones here are a little hard to find because they're bigger size, so I went ahead and add another piece to top of it to make six foot so I think this is probably the cleanest way to do it and just by welding another piece on top and, and grind it down and make it nice and smooth so before I put up the uh, the fence bore I got this thing open I went ahead and put a concrete strip below the fence this way on top of me you cut grass make things a lot easier it's not necessary but I think it look nicer this way so far I got two sections done on the concrete pouring I'm mixing on my third batch so everything's expensive these days uh, what I did is um, have some free sand I left over here a long time ago and the uh, grass grew over it so there's a lot of grass uh, roots and clippings uh, in it so what I did is um, I scoop into the uh, wheelbarrow fill it with water and keep washing it and all the uh, grass pieces will float to the top then I went ahead and used this uh, scooper and scoop up the, uh, the grass and get rid of them and by the time I'm done with it, I probably take out about 90 to 95 percent of the grass. I do have some leftover sometimes. I just pick them out. I put uh, one bag of concrete and about the same ratio of sand in there. This way, I get a little more uh, concrete to pour in this um, slab over here. Otherwise, it'll take me two bags for each section. Right now, I'm going to save it. Maybe one bag for each section, mixing the sand and putting it together. Um, each bag is 80 pounds. So, so far, I'm on my third bag. And uh, so far, it's working out pretty good. Alright, so uh, 
let me continue on doing this and I'll I'll go all the way to the end with it right by the uh, the wall over there to finish it up and I got a little short slab on the other side I got the uh, mold strip all poured. So I went ahead and uh, stopped right here on the uh, mold strip. I need to figure out how wide the uh, pedestrian gate is so I can install another pole over here. Once it's done, I'll continue pouring the mold strip all the way to the end. The uh, post is ready uh, to put the uh, brackets on. I'm going to put one on top, one in the middle, and, way, and one way down there. I'm going to go and bolt all them on first. Then come back with the 2x4s uh, and, and set up the horizontal braces. So I got all my railings up. And how I did it is... Um, I use a little, I use a clamp and on both sides since I'm working by myself. Once I line everything up, I pre drill a little tiny hole right there. Allow me to uh, put this uh, screw in there without cracking the wood. So the reason I put it that high is that uh, I'm gonna have a cap on top of it this way. This will support the uh, the upper cap, uh, two by six. When I first uh, working with these fence posts right here, they were five foot high, and I I went ahead and uh, add a another larger uh, post over the small one. And my mistake was uh, I didn't anticipate putting this mold strip down. So once I put everything down, I come, I came back, and when I put my fence board on top of it, it was a little too short. So what I did is, um, I was able to raise these posts up a little higher, and still make made them work. And here, on this piece right here, I was able to uh, weld a little short piece on top of it to make up for the. Uh, the short posts and all these posts right here uh, I was able to raise them up because there's another pipe inside of it luckily these end posts right here they fit just fine and I also got the other side that I need to work on um, this is larger than 8 foot section so so I need to buy some longer 2x4s um, to uh, set this side to set this size up. So far looking good. Um, what I'm gonna do is uh, I will start putting up a uh, fence board on this side and work myself toward the corner right there. Same thing start with that side to the corner. If I need to trim the last board, it's not so noticeable at the end. And the other side is a little higher, so I might need to just trim the six foot bore short a little bit. If I stand back, the upper um, cap on top from one side to another side is evenly go across. 
so they should be like um, not like this side is low and the other side is higher it look kind of strange so so I'll make the other side the same height as on this side as for the gate um, my plan is just put the three horizontal two by fours screw them onto the uh, screw onto those metal pipes right there then I come back and put the pickets up once that's done on the top portion of it I'll trim a little bit of it to give it a little curve on each gate to make it look a little nicer I'm ready to put up the uh, pickets because I'm using the steel poles a little harder to uh, line everything up I went ahead and uh, set up the first board which is the hardest and it's overhang a little bit on one side to uh, hide the post and over here I need to figure out how big a gap I need to uh, cut a piece of 2x4 to fit in this gap right here because I'm using this existing uh, uh, gate frame and that pretty much it once the uh, fence panel being put up then I come back and work on this side right here do the rest of the pickets and I need to uh, figure it out where the exact location for uh, another metal post need to go down there so I use a cap on top of right there to line everything up and once everything's done I'll come back and I have a trim right here to hide the dog ears
As for this metal gate I got right here, I went ahead and mounted uh, three horizontal support bars right there. So I can mount the, uh, the fence picket on it. I just cut them into the right length and clamped them down. And here I use some cell drilling screw to bolt them onto the, uh, the frame. So once everything's lined up, I went ahead and marked it. So I can pre-drill the holes and make sure the uh, screw is right in the center of the, uh, the pipes. hard to see but I got pencil marks right here so I just need to drill it in the center I'm gonna put four screws in there I'm using a two inch cell tapping screws. I'm almost done with this side. Um, got a few more boards left. And I trimmed some of the pickets to line everything up. And I got the uh, gate finished as well. Uh, it's hidden in here, you can't really see it. I need to figure out how to make a latch for it. So, right now I just, uh, I'm using the lock from the uh, cyclone fence gate. So I don't think that will work. I um, need to figure out something to make it work properly. But so far, it's looking pretty good. Um, I'll finish those few boards over there. Then I'll work on that side. Do the uh, two gates last. That'll be a little challenging. So when I get there, I'll figure it out how everything should line up. Let me go ahead and give you an update on my fence. Uh, there's a few things I did, I didn't get it on video. Um, so far the fence is pretty much complete and I just finished staining it. Let me show you what I have done to it so far. So on top I put a 2x4 cap in it 
and I also put a, a trim right here and I use a router to uh, round it off and make it a little nicer and this go on top of the whole fence except for the gates over here so here what it look like you got two by six on top of two by four frame right there and with the uh, with the border right here this is made from the same fence as this right here what I did is I cut this in half and use my planer and smooth it out and round it off and put it up there so it gave it a nice look on the fence and here's the gate right here the gate is not quite complete yet and what I did is uh, I trim a little bit on top make like a curve on there to give it a better look and I'm not quite sure I'm gonna put a little trim around the top or not and this is what I used to uh, to make the curve basically this is a, a 2 by 10 and I cut into a thin piece this allowed me to bend it and what I do what I did is uh, I put it on top of there I clamped it down and bend it down to where I need to go to get that curve and in the back of the uh, the gates I use a metal frame uh, to form the gates this is the gate that I had before for the cyclone fence went ahead and just add some uh, 2x4's behind it and bolted it to the, uh, the metal tubing I did have to modify the hinges a little bit to what I did is this I just cut it in cut it in half and add another piece of metal here to expand it out a little bit make it wider so this way I can swing the gate all the way out I didn't do it to the other side um, I didn't do anything to it right now when I try to open it'll hit the ground over here but I'm gonna come back with the uh, tractor and scrape down the ground a little bit to allow to open all the way so far I have started staining the back part of the fence not quite done yet so this will look like in the, on the back well, let me show you the, uh, the pedestrian gate I have on this side right here same thing over here I just use the uh, existing gate modify a little bit and made it to work and so far I'm not gonna put a latch outside to open it just gonna keep it like this right here and if I need to open I just open from the inside just keep everything nice and clean this fence is very sturdy and it's gonna last for many years so overall I'm quite happy with the uh, result of the fence I went ahead and stained the fence to give that nice clean wood look and uh, I went and sprayed it on with the uh, sprayer. Um, I just used the uh, the clear coat. Um, this is what I use right here. And uh, since I used a sprayer, it wasn't too bad. Maybe I'll come back and add another coat. So far, I use about a little less than a half of. Uh, five gallon container to paint the uh, outside plus a little on the inside yeah so i um, quite pleased with the uh, end result oh let me show you something else that I did 
over here um, you can see it sloped down a little bit and come downwards and what I did is like uh, I have a 16 foot 2 by 6 2 by uh, 6 right here and I secured this end right here then I went ahead and clamped it down and basically just bend it downward so I get a nice clean curve right there and uh, it turned out quite nice All right, um, this is it for my uh, almost finished fence. Uh, thanks for watching and until next time, bye.